when you want to put in some rolling credits, uh, you might find it easier, especially if you have a lot of them, to actually type them out in Microsoft Word or Google Docs to start. So I'm just going to uh, take these credits that we just kind of made up here and talk about, you know, who it features, the production team, technical support, music in this case. I'm going to copy those with Control C. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my text tool. Okay, or my type tool in uh, Adobe Premiere and I'll just give this a title called credits and if your essential graphics panel is not up you can either go to window workspaces captions and graphics or just go to window and make sure that your essential graphics has a check mark there and that'll bring it right up so I'm going to uh, center this just like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the text tool and I'm just going to put it right there and hit control V now this will paste the whole thing. Now you'll notice that here I obviously have about, I don't know, 10 lines or so, but here it's only showing six. That's because the rest of them, they are there, but you just can't see them because they're taking up too much space. Now I am gonna select all of these and I'm just going to center them. In this case, I wanna have some centered credits. And I think they should be maybe a little smaller than the actual title for credits. So I'll just shrink that down just a little bit. And I might even change the font to something different. Um, and this just is a, nothing more than a personal preference. So we'll have that one right there. And then of course you could do little things like maybe underline um, certain subheadings that you have, etc., etc. Now, even though I've made it smaller, you'll still see that I can't see the rest of my, uh, my objects there. And it's a really easy fix and everybody misses it. What you have to do is you go up to your edit panel here and make sure that nothing is selected. So I'm just gonna click right here and now I have the option to roll them. And when I roll them, you'll see that I get the full option. So now I can see everything and I can take my technical support and I can uh, you know, make sure that has an underline and music, make sure that has an underline. And there we go. So I'm gonna be able to go through all those credits there. Um, again, if I click off there. I could, you know, they, they start by default as off screen. I could technically start them on screen, although I think that looks a little weird. So I'm gonna start them off screen. And you can also play around with the responsive design. Um, it's just uh, some other options. I don't know if you'll actually use those, but you're welcome to play with them. Um, more importantly is how long it takes for those credits to happen. By default, all text is five seconds. So when I hit play, those go through at five seconds. Now. If that's too fast, all you have to do is just take this clip and lengthen it out. Maybe you want it to be 10 seconds long. And that's gonna slow that right down. Likewise, if I make it shorter, it's gonna fly through like that. Okay, so depending on the criteria and what you're trying to uh, showcase, uh, that's exactly how you can do that. And you can even add images into your credit block. You can add uh, you know, shapes, you can do whatever you wanna put in there.